Hi guys, so um, today I'm going to be try testing out this fake tan by Naked Skin. It's a pre-shower tan, you put it on 10 minutes before you get in the shower, wash it off and then it develops over 68 hours. So I thought I'd just film it and tell you my opinion as I am very pale. So yeah, I shall update you once I've done it. Okay, so an update, I've just washed it off and I am very, very moisturised and very soft. I just thought I'd give you an update why um, I'm out and about. The time is now 17 minutes past two which means the tan has been on for nearly two hours. And to be honest, I can't see anything. Like I cannot see a difference. When I use their gradual tan, I, even though that takes the six to eight hours to develop, I can normally like, you know, see a slight change in my color. So I don't really know. When I put it on, it is clear and it is one of those 10 minute, you know, put it in the shower, wash it off. And it does say that you can add to it, make it darker, like gradually. Not too sure on it yet. I'm hoping it's just gonna work out a nice color after the six to eight hours. And once it's developed, it will just look, you know, like a lovely, at least a natural glow as they say, I'm so pale. But um, yeah, that's just a little update so far. Um, I'll try and update you again a bit later, if not I'll update you tomorrow on what it's looking like when it's at its full colour and you know I'll let you know if I'm going to apply it or not again and see what happens. Okay, so I've just woken up, like literally, I'm sorry if I look a bit of a mess, I haven't even brushed my hair yet. Um, I'm not dark at all um, but it does say you can add to layer up so I think I'm just going to do another maybe coat today in the shower, wash it off and see what two coats look like or at least it looks like I've got something going on so yeah I'll just keep you updated okay so this is just two coats I had a shower and washed my hair yesterday and I didn't reapply it anymore but this is yeah I mean I can personally see a difference only from what I'm so fair I can see like the slight color difference but it is two coats and as it was developing I mean I couldn't see anything when I went on it was one of those clear ones that go on and when I washed it off, I was so like, the water was just like dripping off me and I felt very slippery on the skin, which I've never really had before, but it was very moisturizing. But as it developed, yeah, I couldn't see anything. And um, I'll insert a clip of yesterday before I had my shower and washed my hair so you can sort of see what it looked like, um, just in case it's changed at all. I don't really think it has. But yes, I do, I use that gradual moisturizer normally, which is like a gradual tan. And that is amazing. Like. It takes six to eight hours to develop and it goes on clear, but I can start seeing a difference in those hours. And it is, I find it so good. Um, I rinse a picture of me wearing two coats of that as well, so you can see the difference. And I'll put the, I'll put a before picture of what I look like as well. So I almost feel like the gradual moisturizer develops quicker, I suppose, and sticks to the skin better. But I, d I don't quite know how that would make sense. Maybe it's just because you wash it off. The first day I used a little bit of soap on my hands when I washed it off and I thought maybe that's why it didn't develop much but then the second time I didn't use any soap and I just rinsed and it still hasn't developed loads as you can see. But I also noticed after the first coat so there was obviously the top of my back which I couldn't you know spread out properly and I got up the next morning and my boyfriend was like oh your back's a bit you know, you're a bit patchy on your back. I looked in the mirror and I insert a picture of what it looked like. Um, and that was only one coat, but it was because I couldn't spread it out. So I don't know if I spread it out too much, but obviously I didn't want to go streaky. So I wanted to make sure I spread it all over, if that makes sense. But overall, I would just, if I was gonna bother doing this and have to wait the six to eight hours anyway, I would use the moisturizer, their gradual tan moisturizer, cause that is amazing as in, I put it on, let it soak in, and then you can literally put anything on. Like I've put jeans on before and it has come out completely fine. So with this product, it is actually all organic as well, which is great. Um, I'm not majorly fussed about that sort of thing, but that is a really big perk. So I will put their stuff in the description. They do do like a proper tan as well, where you have to stay in it for six or eight hours before you wash it off. I just can't be bothered with tans like that, like making bed sheets dirty and things and personally i don't like like with the moisturizer it comes off it just fades off which i prefer i don't like it when it goes sort of like tiger bread like and you have to try and exfoliate it off and it's a whole thing so that is my roundup if you're gonna bother i just get their gradual moisturizer as i'm so pale and it barely 
has showed any colour on me. I sort of hope you enjoyed this little testing video. When I wanted to buy it, I sort of tried to look it up and there weren't too many videos on it. So that's why I thought I would do one and sort of refer back my feedback. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.